Good day. My name is Dr. Curtis Roundson, and I and my colleague, Dr. Michelle Gottlieb, are the co-presidents and co-founders of the EMDR Professional Training Organization. It began in a published paper in 1989 by a psychologist named Francine Shapiro, who described what she called eye movement desensitization. She had stumbled upon this thing of eye movements and somehow she thought it desensitized memory networks. The significance of the publication of that paper in 1989 was that post-traumatic stress disorders did not even have a diagnostic category until 1980 in the DSM-3. In 1989, for the first time in the history of psychology, four papers were published on the treatment of post-traumatic stress disorder. And EMD, Francine's pilot study, was one of those four. As she began to continue elaborate and experiment with this methodology, she realized that it wasn't just desensitization that was happening, but the brain itself was restructuring and re-editing the traumatic memory and storing that memory in a narrative history telling form without the hypoarousal. She realized it wasn't just desensitizing, it was reprocessing. So in 1990, R was added and it became eye movement desensitization and reprocessing therapy. EMDR therapy is based on the hypothetical model of the adaptive information processing model. Put very, very simply, the AIP model postulates this. All pathology and all health is a result of memory networks. Memory networks that often begin early in our life and build upon one another until in the present we react or are triggered in situations in our current life that actually goes back to earlier learnings and earlier reinforcements of memory networks. What EMDR therapy does, it helps release this stored memory.